This is a tutorial for Rescue Map Cleaner. This is a plugin that works in Adobe Premiere and After Effects. And what it does is it removes objects and noise from green screen footage backgrounds. What I've got here is my uh, lovely subject wearing a pan on his head who's staggering around in front of a green screen. Uh, the green screen is very badly lit. It's got uh, wrinkles in it and we've also got these wobbly trucking dots all over it as well. I've pulled a quick key on that in key light. Now what we could start doing at this point is drawing in garbage mats around the image and painting out the odd tracking dot by hand but there's 30 seconds of footage we've got here which gives us 750 frames. So that's an awful lot of painting out to do. So what I'm going to do is use Rescue Mat Cleaner and set up a couple of rules to take out all of the dots in all of those frames. Now I'm in After Effects so I need to pre-comp this key layer. This is to allow the plugin to detect motion. In Premiere you don't need to do that. So what I've got here is my image which has got a key on it. This is the top level comp I'm looking at and I've just added my Rescue Mat Cleaner plugin. So that's already taken out the noise, just leaving us with the tracking dots. Um, I've also set the footage quality to be good rather than excellent on this selector at the top. Um, this footage quality indicator allows the system to round edges appropriately. What I'm going to do first is get rid of most of these tracking dots that are still hanging around in the background. At the moment, we've got the pre-clean setting as 10, uh, which means remove anything which is under 10 pixels in size. So I'm going to up that to 20 to try and get rid of... Yeah, let's get rid of most of the tracking dots from the background. If I up this to 30, what that's done is remove any object in the frame that's smaller than 30 pixels. Let's have a look at how well we've done with the other frames. Okay, all right, so we've got a problem with frames four, five, and six. Okay, you can see in these frames what's happened is because there are tracking dots that are coinciding with the edge of our subject and they look like part of the central image. So what we're going to do is get rid of those by adding this further processing setting here. So if I go remove on here this makes this lower section light up and we're going to get rid of those tracking dots by isolating them as first of all as color. So we're going to say okay we're going to choose a color and that's selected some of that tracking dot and we want to probably get the second one as well. When you're selecting colors it's a good thing to do to use the show color info setting at the top. What this does is it gives you a false color display of what's going on with the cleaning process. Pink and blue means it's been got rid of in the pre-cleaning section. Anything blue is just noise that it's lost. Anything pink has been removed because it's part of this pre-cleanup setting here. So this size we've set to 30, so it's removed anything smaller than 30 in the initial pre-clean, and these are these pink blobs. And then the bits that we're interested in next, which we're selecting, are these red areas here. So I, I think I need to get a bit more of that colour accurate. So let's try and get as much of that as we can without selecting the rest of the image. Now a lot of the colors are sort of coinciding with other parts of the image. This isn't a problem, uh, we'll sort it out in a minute. Let's just get our two dots selected, okay. So we've said these colors in this range, select them and what we're going to do now is tell the plugin to remove them only if they're on an object edge. Oh, I need to bump that up a bit more because we've lost the edge there now. Let's see, I just need to increase that. Okay, here we go. So what I've told the plugin to do now is to remove these colored areas that match this range here, but only remove them when they're on an object edge. 
So these red bits are on an object edge. So it's picked them out as being, yeah, stuff that wants to be removed. These green parts of the image are areas where they're obviously part of the central image, so it's going to keep them. So if we look at what the result is now, you can see that it's kept the bits of the uh, pan helmet, but uh, we've lost the tracking dots, which is what we wanted. So let's um, have a look back from that. Yeah, it doesn't look like we've got any other problems there, so that looks good. You can also adjust final feather here if you'd like to make it a bit more out of focus looking around the edges if you want the other interesting feature we've got down at the bottom is this smart extend setting if we go on the color info tab what this is doing is is extending the areas we've selected intelligently so if we knocked this down to zero we could see that we've only got the middle of this little tracking dot selected if I just bump it back up to five, you wouldn't normally need to set that to anything else. That looks pretty good here. So that's removed all the tracking dots on all of those frames without any garbage mats or hand painting at all. So that's the Rescue Map Cleaner plugin for After Effects and Premiere.